Hello my Soccer Universe, final video for this weekend, I, as I said before I'm gonna do the Italy video after we had the semi-finals in the cup because I think, at least I hope you only understand what is hap what's happened in Italy uh, once you've seen the cup round. But uh, again, I should not talk about this, this is the Netherlands and France that we are talking about in here. But in, before we're going to talk about this, uh, two more things. First of all, there's a Ukraine shirt up there for obvious reasons. I want to show my support to Ukraine. There are a few videos uh, on my channel, two of them, where I talk about the whole Ukraine-Russia thing and their implications, especially on football. Nothing really um, uh, politically, but I link to something interesting there as well. But I think it's important to point this out that for all videos, this uh, week I'm gonna have a Ukraine shirt up there and uh, also I'm having some my uh, usual laptop on repair so I don't have really all the tools that I need necessary so my videos are very bare bones uh, this week meaning I will not put any graphs in this video now because uh, and also Frankly, I do not have the time to spend much on editing as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's go into what happened in France and Netherlands. I'm wearing uh, Lille, who had a kind of an impressive win. But to me, the big thing is that Ajax again is sloppy. Ajax is sloppy this season. They are far and away the strongest team in the Netherlands. However, they keep the others and especially PSV just hanging around. Yeah, Feyenoord also lost, so uh, they're also sloppy. But Ajax again uh, lost to a uh, newly promoted side that had a good season though. But at l a little bit leaves me bewildered and I think this sloppiness is what in the end will... Uh, I mean Ajax anyway was an outside shot of winning the Champions League but actually that might actually cost them a, a spot in the quarterfinals where we all would expect them in a way. And in France, yeah, I think on the uh, in France the bottom is the most interesting one. And also on top because you know they're all falling over. Mar Mar Marseille, I think two or three weeks ago said Marseille looked like the strongest side, and then they have not won since. So uh, yeah, everything beyond uh, PSG is actually quite interesting in France, and we might see some miracle escape. We might not. Uh, let's see. Um, and PSG also, I mean, took a while until they got uh, clicking against Saint Saint Etienne, but once they got clicking, boy, did they look good! Boy, did they look good! I mean, two magic assists by Mbappe and Messi pff, that's the stuff uh, that we actually were all expecting to see. But as I said, let's start in the Netherlands. We're on Sunday uh, in quick succession with all the big teams playing. We had AZ beating Feyenoord. 2-0 up at the half, it's not the first time I'm going to say this, and then uh, Feyenoord can only pull one back, that's one thing, I mean, Feyenoord still has a cushion over AZ, but it, it basically takes Feyenoord out of the um, running more or less for the champ Champions League spot, or it would need a miracle for them to uh, complete that one. Uh, then uh, the other Rotterdam team uh, play against PSV, have the lead. But then an early red card in the second half turns the game around and Mauro Junior and Duan turn the game around for PSV. Crucial win. Because if you drop points there, you might as well have packed, 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 packed in. But now, not only did you uh, get the points, you also put pressure on Ajax. And as, as I said, Ajax seemingly also saving the fire for the midweek and for upcoming coming, coming games as, as we'll see. They find themselves down at the half, 2-0 uh, to the go-ahead Eagles from Devon. Uh, I mean, the second goal came just before the uh, second half. Berghuis then can only put one uh, back, but it definitely um, doesn't... As I said, this result is a stunner for me, but it keeps the league interesting, which I think is at least, uh, if you're following, yes, I have heavy Ajax links, but they're more on the international level than necessarily the Dutch level. Um, but it keeps things definitely interesting because it would be boring to say, yeah, there's no title race. There is still a title race in the Netherlands. Although the odds are very much stacked in Ajax's favor. I mean, I still have 85% uh, Ajax winning it. Uh, and they're most likely going to be uh, in the Champions League next, next, next season. But uh, it is only a two-point gap. And that is with Ajax winning both uh, games against PSV. Ajax having three losses this season. Still only seven goals considered, which is ridiculous. I mean, 
they had only conceded five goals. I, I don't think uh, they ever con 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 conceded more than two two goals. I mean, uh, their loss makes uh, not a lot of sense. As I said, maybe they were saving themselves because on Wednesday they have a semi-final against AZ away from home. And PSV have to go to go ahead, Eagles. Hmm. Interesting. I gotta say. On the weekend, let's see what the matches are there. We have Ajax against Valwijk, uh, PSV against Heracles, uh, Feyenoord against Groningen, and AZ against um, Nijmegen. So, um, nothing really there where you say, okay, this is a, a potential trap. But uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it, but it is uh, the relegation fight is rather open uh, between uh, Valwijk, Willem, Dwey, Fortuna, Sita, Sparta, Rotterdam, and Zwolle. So uh, there is also quite some stuff happening there. I have not decided yet. As I said, I'm not even sure if I will be able to do a stats cast. Um, I have not decided if and when I wanna uh, do that. Um, I may just post it on my Facebook group because other than that, I honestly, I don't see really how I'm gonna uh, get it done at this very moment. Okay, moving over to France where uh, Ren maybe is getting back into the things with a, a rather impressive 4 to win over Montpellier, a game that I would have loved to see, didn't, yeah. Bad on me. I actually did see Strasbourg against Nice, but um, I think Nice just frustrated the heck out of Strasbourg. Strasbourg was a lot larger better team, but couldn't create any chances. Nice was defensively ra rather sound. Uh, uh, second, a second yellow for Dunch just after the half basically set the game uh, to a stalemate. And it remained a stalemate. Uh, nil nil. So, yeah, uh, I thought, yeah, maybe with that watch, this is probably on paper uh, the best looking match in France this weekend. I was not good looking. Despite being down, uh, one nil Vera was actually PSG, especially in the second half. Leo Messi uh, having two assists, his second assist to make it 2 1 uh, for Mbappé was just. It looked like it looked weird. It looked like uh, out of this world in in in, in many ways. With Stepan, suddenly everything falls aside, and he can just play a straight pass in, into Mbappe. But it was a magic. It it, it was definitely a mag magic moment. And then Mbappe assisting Danilo. The way he cuts this across, wonderful goal. Uh, it's all looking great for PSG at this very moment. Uh, Mbappé, though, uh, being suspended, his next game you will see Mbappé is at the Bernabeu. That's going to be in, 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 interesting, but maybe, just maybe, things start to click. And maybe we get the magic that we've been waiting all along, but it might as well just fall apart. Speaking of fall, falling apart, Monaco. Won the lead at Loli Reims through a Benjeda goal, having already uh, won this allowed for offside a little bit early on. And then in the last few minutes, it's all falling apart. On goal by Kevin Folland, yeah. Strike on the wrong uh, side, side of things. Then Jean Lucas gets a uh, yellow red within uh, two yellows within a short, very short time. And then Mbuku scores a winner late on Monaco. Doesn't look good. That's basically. Uh, if you want to compete in Europe, that's not the way to go. Uh, as I said, Marseille also dropping points at Troyes. Cannot get a win at the moment. Uh, I want to point out that, you know, since we talk already about re relegation, Lorient, a huge win over Brest. That might actually salvage them a little bit. Not who just had a big win over PSG uh, against Mets. So we got to... Uh, doesn't move either needle for uh, the needle for either teams. And then Lyon, again, I think they are potentially the second most talented team in League 1. However, they just cannot get it together and uh, Gudmundsen scores in the 35th a winner for Lille. And so Lille stay on track, very much so. If I look at the standings before we look what's going ahead, um, PSG of course far and away will become champions for the second uh, Champions League spot. It's a three-way race between Marseille, Nice and Rennes at the moment with Strasbourg having outside chances. And maybe Lille and maybe Lyon, if they could string results together, could get, 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 get in there. But I think it's more uh, that they have so much potential that they're in there rather than their current form. But uh, everything uh, below uh, PSG, I mean, we have Marseille and Nice 47 for, for 46, then Rennes Strasbourg with 43. And then uh, there seems to be a cut. So, um, 
I don't know if last night Lil Man Monaco could uh, get in there. Lyon a disappointing tenth place. But on the bottom, um, Saint Etienne, although they're at the moment in nineteenth, they have only forty two percent chance of getting relegated. It's actually Troyes, Metz, and Bordeaux that at the moment are down in Bordeaux. That doesn't look pretty for such a big team uh, there. In the midweek, we have the cup round uh, with Nice taking on Versailles away from home. Um, should be a win. I mean, it's a fourth tier side. This, you should win this one and then on Wednesday not against Monaco. Maybe this is where Monaco can salvage uh, their season. And then on the weekend, we have a big one between Nice and PSG. Um, we also have uh, Marseille against Monaco. Those are two big matchups coming up on the weekend in France. So uh, I think that they're both of them are very much worthwhile. I don't know. Lorient, Lyon. Lorient will need the win. Lyon also needs the win. I mean, that could be something to play for, for sure. And then we have the Cathedral Dower between Reims and Strasbourg. Just saying. Any case, that's it from me for uh, this week's happening in the Netherlands and in France. Please drop a line below if you have to add anything. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to more videos like this and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!